welcome back to our channel today i'm going to harvest our eggplant this is our asian eggplant mm. Send some to our friend. Okay. This. And there's more coming. And we actually have some American egg. I don't know why it got mixed up. This one when they we bought it from the Amish. Somehow got mixed up. The label that's Asian, but it's not. There's more. So actually, this one I've been trimming, like they call this one a sucker, that part, so that they will bear more fruit, like this one here. So they call even in the tomato. I'm gonna harvest that one. So here, there's more coming up. So eggplant, you use, I usually use this. Uh, how do you call this? This one, because it's kind of hard sometimes to harvest it. We'll get them all. So this is our second harvest. And we will share some to our friend. Okay. There's more of on this side. So this is the best eggplant ever. It's good to saute, mix it or boil it, make salad or eggplant parmesan or there's a lot of dish that you know you can make with it or just whatever you want, you would like. So it's, I'm holding the camera too, so with one hand. You're supposed to have some green that they were a bit behind. So we have some Asian, uh, American here. I don't like them much, but. I don't know, somehow, when we bought it, got mixed up. And we would put the seedlings by the, in the Amish. Somehow, maybe got transferred it in there. So, I'm just going to deal with it. So here. More here. Here. So the best thing that I do with this is I I'll poke them. I wash them first and poke it and I grill them. And next step I I actually remove the skin and then make a egg wash 
and you can either mix it with you know just plain egg wash and if you want breadcrumbs in it it's fine and then i don't put egg uh, breadcrumbs but i and fry deep fry it and season it oh the best that's what i hold the best best one uh, or you can make it eggplant parmesan that way you just need to add add it some uh, parm and a lot of cheese and bake it in the oven make it all melt up and you're good to go and that's the best also make sure I mix in there so I have there yeah, did I miss something? Mm -hmm. Let's see. There's more coming. More coming. Here. Some here. I'm still behind, but they're all catching up. So, so far, this is what our second harvest like. I will grill them and we will send some to our friend in North Carolina. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, we'll harvest our shishito. Because last time, remember, last video, I pick it up out the early. So this time, more mature side. So I'm just going to pick the one that I'm going to give him, send him. So not all I'm going to pick. So that you can taste it more, like the flavor-wise. Here. Mmm, smells so good. And then tonight I will use some tonight for my, uh, the dish that I'm making. Like a chicken pit. Huh? Adobo chicken pit. Yes. Here, yeah, more mature. Because... Uh, we said I pick it all the early last time when we had we grill. So this time it's more here. Okay. I don't have my assistant tonight. Alright, so I do it the video. <laughs> my pooh bear is not here. Alright. See, there's a lot of so okay this year i'm gonna let some turning really mature so that i can't plant the seed it actually turned out pretty good the seed from last year some of this we bought from the store or from the amish because they we requested this kind pepper and they finally did it did have it this year Yes, yes, yes. And because sometimes once in a blue moon you will see it, and then the next year do you want they won't have it. So it's better to keep some seeds on hand. We can grow it. Because I did so some of this area here, these are shishito here. So that's from our from the garden last year that we planted and that was my trial to see if it will grow and indeed it grow so that one so healthy now here we have this called banana pepper here that a lot there's a lot of them so harvest because some more you will harvest this banana pepper to do more All right, let's see so 
as I said, I'm not going to harvest them all. And look at our tomato. Actually, our tomato grow pretty good this year. Because remember, we had a problem with blights, but so far, they're actually doing pretty good. So, come from here for what spinach. So, the same with this tomato. I've been cleaning, you know, all the suckers. Because that's what they said. It will help. You can get more nutrients and bear uh, 